Big game, this. Big game. Come on. Real Madrid, fresh off of the uh, Madrid derby. Then they had to go to France. Fail to score, fail to win, and they host Villarreal. And yet Real Madrid are still minus 375. Villarreal plus 775. The draw is at plus 550. Now, how many times are Real Madrid going to score? Because you're going to get, and I like this, plus 105 for Madrid not to score free against a Villarreal side who may well be very cautious and try and frustrate Paco. Actually made this pick where I had already, you know, made up my mind regarding uh, going for the the choice I made before Real Madrid's demise yesterday uh, over in Lille, because I think that is going to affect the way Real Madrid really focus on this game and uh, uh, to my disadvantage in this case because the way I've, I see it, Real Madrid have been on a quite poor form so far this season for two single things. One, obviously, Tony Cross not being on the pitch. Yeah. Uh, after his retiring, for three things. Second one, that the uh, offense hasn't really gelled so far, and I see that Vinicius, Mbappé, Rodrigo not, not don't have the flow that they should for the great players they are so far. And finally, I, I have to say it, obviously, because I, I think it's important, Bellingham is not at the same level as last season. And, and Real Madrid are really, really, really noticing that every single game. So I expected Real Madrid to really win their Champions League game, coasting it, as they often do, or at least not losing, so they could fell prey to uh, complacency in this game against Villarreal. Unfortunately, they lost yesterday, so that means that after Ancelotti being very mad and and very angry in the press conference and after a couple of days of criticism coming going their way i think real madrid are going to be much more focused and tense and intense and and i don't know uh mighty at home because so far i've seen the, the thing i've seen uh Villarreal do this season they always play the same regardless they do it at home or away and so far, you only have to look at the standings. They are only one point away because Villarreal have been very impressive this season and they have midfield onwards. I would say at least 80%, 85% of the tools that, that Real Madrid have. They do have Mbappé and Vinicius, but Villarreal are no slouch and they can score. So I, I went for Villarreal double chance because it was uh, great. But again, yesterday's uh, Real Madrid uh, defeat is, I don't know, it's, I don't think it's going to trounce my plans. I'm going to stick to it. But, you know, uh, maybe they should have at least picked up a point. It would be better for my interests. Pavlos, do Real Madrid score free here? Because I've got Real Madrid plus 105 not to score free. Or I go under three and a half at minus 108, at uh, plus 108. You know, there's a couple of head scratchers that um, I got from their match against Lille. First head scratcher is why was uh, Mendy substituted at the first half? I should say that I didn't watch this match, so I have absolutely no idea what happened. Because he was awful in the first half uh, okay. trying to get the ball from the back. Uh, that's one he of the issues. When, yeah, yeah, he lost a thousand balls in the midfield. He put his boots yeah. on the wrong feet, you know, like because they bent <laughs> out the wrong way. So when he bent the ball like that, he, he hit the program seller. But he kept doing it. He was Lille's uh, best player. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the other thing is, why didn't Rodrigo get a single minute? Is he, like, tired? Whoa. Is there something mm, wrong? Is may, he going to play on the weekend? Maybe rotations and so on, as Hansi Flick did last weekend, and that's why they lost their game in La Liga against, against Osasuna. But... Definitely, I think we did see one of the weakest Mbappe performances in the Champions League. One of the weakest Vinicius's performances in, the, I don't know. I think only Felipe Valverde was the only bright spot in 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 that game. But it, I think it was obviously not, uh, not enough to to pick up a single point. Yeah, it's really interesting game this though because as you say, Real Madrid getting beat and it is almost like Valencia winning a game. You know what I mean? Wake it's up just, call. It, it, it's it, a wake up call. It doesn't happen exactly. It's like yes. craziness, and they will. And real champions mm. and real top players, they don't. They're so competitive. That's why they're at the top. So they don't take defeat or even bad performances. Uh, lightly. Yes, they've got by so far because they're uh, bedding in and they're coming. Most mm. of them have been on the go for like 12 months, but the quality is there. But I'm thinking that this is like a 2 0 or maybe just a 2 1 with the consolation coming after Real Madrid a 2 0 up. What do we think, boys? Uh, this ain't I no think 4 2, cool. is it? 
I think goals here, and uh, you don't really have to go far to find the goals. Villarreal, they're seven and one to the both teams to score and over two and a half goals. Eight and no to the both teams to score alone. Uh, they're scoring goals. They're conceding goals. They got blasted by uh, Barcelona at home by five to one. Uh, Real Madrid have only kept uh, like three clean sheets, four clean sheets in the season. Uh, I know there's tiredness from the uh, midweek European match. Villarreal, they've played in these competitions in the past. They know how hard it is to come back after a loss, a match that you were expecting, you know, the worst case scenario to be a draw and then you lose, not even scoring. Real Madrid are going to be angry, as Paco said. Uh, Coach Ancelotti is truly going to, you know, point the finger, not point the finger, uh, like, you know, do what coaches do after a, such a loss. Uh, and Villarreal, they've given us reasons to doubt their defense, uh, no reasons to doubt their offense. And this is a matchup that has five straight matches with both teams scoring over two and a half goals. Some crazy, crazy score lines. Uh, of course, the 4 4 of last season was, uh, uh, you know, Villarreal were chasing um, the seventh spot in the uh, Europa Conference League. Real Madrid had already won the title. So take it with a grain of salt. But there's still some huge numbers like. 3-2 wins for Real Madrid, 3-2 win for Villarreal in this venue. Um, and, uh, of course, five of last six in this venue, regardless of, you know, whatever season they are, if they're playing in Europe or not, if they're coming off a European match. Five of, five of the last six matches between the two sides in this venue were both teams to score and over two and a half goals. I don't think it's illogical to take both teams to score and over two and a half goals at a decent price in this match. Yeah, I think it's one of those where Real Madrid, I think, win and both teams to score could be another way to go as well. But I don't see Real Madrid scoring free. And uh, if the three and a half total of the game is at plus, what, what did I write, plus 108, then maybe under four is going to be like around minus 150. And then we don't see five goals. OK, let's have a little look at the official pips. We've got Villarreal, double chance, massive at plus 275. Both teams scoring over two and a half is much more sensible around the minus 125. 